The story of a champion. This is a true story. A boy who grew up in Vintuk City, Namibia, in the slums, Katitura. Three brothers and three sisters. Him, the middle child. They didn't have much. During the summers, it was humid and damp, and during the winters, it was extremely cold. They went to school because there's nothing else to do and education was something that everyone preached in the house. The family was rather intelligent but just couldn't afford the things everyone else could. He went through pre-primary school and he got to high school and at this stage his brothers and sisters had decided to drop out because it was rather better to provide for the family than to go to school and waste their time. However, everyone in the family believed that he had something extra, enough to get through school and maybe university. At this stage in Africa, a black man going to university is rather unheard of and stupid to tell the rest. Graduated high school top of his class, however, there was just not enough money to make it into university. There was not enough money to afford it, regardless of what your marks are. He decided to work as a mechanic on trains, enough to save up for a car to get to university and even just to afford university. He worked hard, he worked effortlessly, but sometimes working hard and effortlessly isn't enough. Over the time, a church decided to sponsor him, a church decided to give him a scholarship and paid for his university. At this stage, he'd moved to South Africa, Cape Town, where apartheid was in its midst. Apartheid, a time where black people and white people couldn't walk on the same side of the road or receive the same amount of salary. Stories were told of how batons were hit over his head and at the same time he had to be in his next economic class. It was difficult, a difficult time being able to, tell, being able to go to places and not to go to places determined on your skin color. However, he persevered. Grinded, and every time he worked, he tried to send money back to the family. He graduated and he decided to study further, got his honors in another year, got his master's in another year, decided to get his PhD. He started working for the government, making enough money to provide for him and his family. At this stage, it was also unheard of for anybody in the family to be regarded as an academic but he was starting to provide for the family. Things were starting to finally look up where all the brothers and sisters they didn't have to sleep on a bed at the stage and everyone in the family was able to eat the same amounts, the same portions. Over time, as he had gotten this work in government, he took every step and he moved his way up. The same boy who was in the slums and the dams. As he grew older and older, he climbed the ranks in government to the final stage that he's meeting presidents worldwide and writing the president's speech. This man is my father, the story of a champion.